Today, we are going to talk about the book Gone to the Wolves by John Ray. So this is a book that I randomly picked up because I really like the cover and it had that kind of like metal vibe to it. And it's a book that the theme throughout it is all about these characters who are into the metal scene. And it takes place in the late 80s, kind of early 90s, and it follows the characters Kip, Kira, and Leslie. These three become really close friends. They all kind of come from like real weird, strange backgrounds. And this starts out and takes place in Florida. And it goes from Florida to LA to Berlin to Norway. And so you get this big span of all these different areas with metal. And then when you get to LA, you have some of the glam scene. And there's a lot of metal nostalgia in it. So if you're a metal fan at all, you know, they talk about the band's depth and Cannibal Corpse, Slayer, Dark Angel. And then there's a bunch of other stuff too. You know, you get some of the glam stuff mentioned like Motley Crue and there's other bands, Hanoi Rocks. And there's a bunch. And then you have Kip, who is the main character, but there's kind of like three main characters, but it's seen mainly through Kip's eyes. It starts when they're in high school and Kip meets Leslie, who is a black bisexual metal fan. And they become friends and kind of bond over music. And then later on, Kira, who Kip kind of falls in love with in one way or another, but she doesn't really want to be with him because she comes from a really messed up background where it seems like there's probably some abuse going on and whatnot and they really just bond over metal music like what's really real what music feels really real and what's just bs or whatever what's good music what's not and they kind of banter about that and they go to shows together and honestly i didn't get super into this book until they got to la like i was reading it and it was all right in the first part when they're in florida but you know they're in high school they're growing up so you got to kind of like bond them and cement their bond together to really get the story going and once they get to LA I was off running with the wolves because it gets really messed up and what happens is that Kira ends up getting taken and disappears and so Leslie and Kip have to go find her and she's somewhere in Norway possibly with these weird death metal people and who knows if she's gonna come out of it alive seeing each stage in their lives it was kind of fascinating. I have been a big rock and metal fan myself. Uh, Kip in this book ends up being a music journalist. I was also a music journalist and covered a lot of rock and metal, which like, so this, I guess maybe has a special place in my heart and that's why I end up liking this book so much. Cause like I had some parallels there. If you do read this book and it's, you feel like it's kind of slow, like I said, I didn't get into it until they got to LA. And then once they were in LA, it was on. It got more fast paced weird crazy stuff started happening because it starts out and from high school and then it goes to like their 20s and then you know to the mid 20s and just what happens and all that stuff and Kip becomes this cool music journalist and then stuff that happens to them that kind of like makes them drift apart whether it's relationships or drug problems or this that and the other I just thought it was a really great portrayal of the music scene I liked the dynamic between these three what happens in the end if you like metal and like that kind of setting it was absolutely fantastic I freaking loved it this for me was a five star read but as I've said I have like some things that make me like nostalgic for this kind of book so I don't know if everyone would like it as much as I do I don't know what else this author has written I've never heard of him before like I said I randomly grabbed this book off the shelf and it ended up being like a total awesome surprise like I said I liked the cover because it looks metal it has that metal font that every death metal band uses it's like the <laughs> I mean you can you can see it right here so if you're a fan of horror and metal and like weird stuff, weird twisted kind of storylines. Gone to the Wolves by John Ray might just be for you. And if you're a fan of horror books, the next video coming up will be another one about a horror book. So stick around, check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.